So trilobite is an arthropod, so there are arthropods today like uh, lobsters, the horseshoe crab. Trilobites are marine arthropods, so that means they only lived in the seas. They appeared in the Cambrian period and they went extinct at the end of the Permian period, so they survived for several hundred million years. What interests me about trilobites is they're the first dominant form of life on Earth. Well before dinosaurs were here, long before man was even a dream on the planet, trilobites were here dominating the oceans of the world. They were very successful animals. You know, we've been on the Earth for just a couple of million years, so by comparison, the trilobites have been here a long time. What we study is the morphology, that's all we have. There's no DNA available. So what we examine is the structures, like these stalked eyes over here. Those eyes probably protruded from the sediment, so the animals themselves burrowed in the sediment looking for something good to eat, but at the same time their eyes protruded above, checking out predators or something like that. There are many of these that have spines on them, and the spines were undoubtedly for protection. But it's just at that time you begin to find animals hovering in the water like cephalopods that are predators, vicious predators, and these predators would attack the trilobites and the trilobites develop spines to protect themselves. There are new uh, specimens coming out all the time. There are diggers in Bolivia, in Morocco, in Russia, in California, Nevada, and they can find new stuff every day. Most trilobites, when you split the rock and you see the bug, half will be in one side, you know, in the positive, half will be in the negative, and then it involves literally picking pieces off of one side and meticulously placing it in the other side. The work can be several hours or can be literally hundreds of hours. I mean, this one case is a variety all through the Paleozoic from the Cambrian into the Permian. They're also some of the best preserved specimens in the world, so that makes them unusual. And was trying to convey the variety of shapes and sizes. So all of that, we hope, will leave the visitor with an appreciation of the diversity and antiquity of life.